Good morning and happy Labor Day, everyone. Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening, canning recipes, a little bit of everything. That sun is coming up. It's a beautiful sunrise. It's a little bit cooler this morning, but not much. Um, we did not get any rain or anything yesterday. That uh, cool front blew through, but I think it probably already backed up. But anyway, today we are going to be moving uh, the wicking tubs back into the high tunnel so I can put some of my seed starters in there and get going on this fall garden. Stay tuned. Our peppers are gone, guys. Our peppers are gone. Had to go ahead and pull them up. As you know, because of the aphid issue, Greg did spray them down with some insecticidal soap and some neem oil. We'll probably put some uh, diatomaceous earth around the plants when we put them in these tubs. Um, you can see here that the Arroyo Compoyo is doing okay. I'm not seeing very many aphids on it. We are treating it to make sure that the, we do not get an infestation on these. And, uh, but I'm still not seeing any fruit. I wish I would see some fruit on this. Sweet potatoes are coming along. They're not ready yet, although some in this tub are. They're a pretty nice size, but uh, you can see the foliage is still really, really green and uh, it's looking they're looking good so i think that we probably have about another two weeks on these but we are excited to see what we get out of them so here are my little transplants that we did a couple of days ago that you guys know these pepper plants are looking good no aphids thank the lord we're hoping that we will uh, get some more off of these we have a couple in the other raised bed uh, that's coming along quite well you can see I haven't planted in that one yet. I'm gonna wait till it gets a little bit cooler and I think I'm gonna start some spinach seeds today. So here is the high tunnel. You can see I pruned my squash back very heavily and I'm getting some really nice new growth. Cucumbers, we're still trying to treat the aphids on these and salvage them and keep them going. These tomato plants are doing good and this high tunnel guy is fixed. Guys, guys, guys and gals, gals and guys are, is fixing to get filled up with about 27 tubs. So we're going to plant along and then I'm going to show you what it looks like afterwards. Here are um, some tomato, the tomato bushes or vines. They are doing really well in here. They look pretty uh, hardy, pretty healthy. Um, we again don't expect guys our first freeze till probably first or second week in November. Um, so we'll see. We got quite a bit of time for these to produce and we're really needing some cooler weather so that uh, these little buds will start to, to produce us some tomatoes. So behind me, you see that we have all of our zinnias and we love our zinnias, but uh, we think next year, guys, we're gonna have to back those off a little bit because of the insect problem and uh, maybe some of the molds. We may replace our zinnias with marigolds because we did notice that in our raised beds where all those pepper plants are, um, they were heavily, we had heavy, 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 very large marigold plants in there. And the aphids did not, uh, did not touch those pepper plants. And so we're fostering those and thank the Lord that we still have those uh, to continue producing. Wanted to give you guys an update on my onions that I put in this baby tub. This is inside the high tunnel. These are the ones that I had started in some little seed pods. And then those are the ones I sowed directly last weekend. Guys, they're coming up really well. I think they probably will catch up with my transplants. So once these get a certain size and get uh, very healthy and show some little bulbs, they'll be going in the other high tunnel directly in the ground. So Greg will be putting uh, the weed cloth in this raised bed. You can see I got some pretty good size uh, bales over there. And uh, then I will also put more of my seed starters in here. So here is my Tower of Power, guys. It's continuing to be very prosperous. Look at my calendula. This is coming up. Um, my sage is doing really, really well. This is the Moline, and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do today, guys. Because of all the respiratory issues that are going around, I'm gonna clip some of this Moline off and make, some, make a tincture. I've made several tinctures, and I'll show you those uh, when I start to make this Moline. So you'll get an idea of what we're doing to prepare for the flu and cold season. Um, that seems to be coming up on us pretty quick. So uh, on around here, look at this toothache plant. One of my subscribers gave me this and it has just done so well. I'll take uh, some of these dried flowers and I'll save them to plant next year. And I'm gonna try to figure out a way 
to preserve uh, this toothache plant because I think it is a, an excellent addition to have for your, um, as your medicinals. This is that holy basil. I have made, uh, let's see, two tinctures out of this holy basil, and then I also dried some. And uh, see, my, my lemon balm is getting kind of shaded out a little bit. I may go ahead and uh, cut some of this off and, and try to um, make another tincture out of it. Or, well, gosh, I don't know what I'm gonna do, guys, but anyway. So my tarragon, my rosemary, uh, this is my chamomile. I think it's getting a little shaded out. But this uh, Tower of Power soon will be used uh, to plant some greens uh, for Greg and I and uh, some other things that we want to keep up close to the house. But it's looking absolutely beautiful. Unbelievably, guys, the... Uh, bok choy that I planted just two days ago has already germinated and starting to come up. So uh, this truly is gonna be a fast grower. Um, this is the Swiss chard. It's uh, not coming up yet, but we do have it where they're only getting morning sun and uh, in the shade in the afternoon. So while Greg's feeding our babies and getting uh, the wicking tubs ready to go in the high tunnel, I'm gonna go ahead and start some Bloomsdale Longstanding Spinach. We've always had great luck with this, guys. Um, it's very large leaf spinach and very hardy. It was cold hardy last year uh, during that uh, deep freeze, so I'm expecting, I'm expecting it to be cold hardy this year too. Anyway, let's get started. Here's what the seeds look like. They're pretty chunky, so I'll be able to see them as I push them down into my little seed tray. Okay, you can see I got my little seeds in each of the little pods. Just gonna push them down in there. Add a little bit more soil on top of them. And water them down and put them up there next to my bok choy and my Swiss chard. So Greg did a soil sample underneath the microscope this morning, and uh, not surprisingly, we did see some aphids in the soil. So we're treating these uh, wicking tubs with diatomaceous earth before we plant. Okay, so as you can see, we got lots done today. We're running out of time. I've got some Truro beans in there. Can't wait to get into those. I'm gonna fry up some fajitas for our Labor Day uh, celebration. So I will do part two of this video uh, to show you how we, what we get in the wicking tubs and how the lineup is, but uh, getting really excited. So thank you guys for watching. We ask that you hit that subscribe button and that you share us. Um, Go ahead and give us a share. Give us a share. Anyway, take care. God bless. And we will be in touch.